Welcome back, everyone. This is your radio host with the Fire Up Connect radio show, Martha Razzo. So as you heard in a previous episode, I started Solix Business Services with the purpose of helping small and mid-sized business to grow, to grow using data-driven business decisions, strategy based on numbers. That is basically it. And I'm going to talk now to small business owners. So if you're a company that's less than 10 million in sales and you have less than 100 employees, you want to hear this, especially too, if you have been in business less than five years. Because as you heard before, the statistics say that 48% chance that you have of surviving into the sixth year. So what is my advice for business owners? So one thing I want to make sure that you have is you have a budget. I know that sounds like common sense, like Martha, I know I should have a budget, but I can almost bet that right now some of you do not have a budget. And when do you do this budget? You should have it at the end, at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of every year, you should have your budget. And that should not be the only time you look at your budget. You should look at it every month. Yes, but how do I do that? Well, you should have a report called the profit and loss. And what you have to do is look at that budget that you had at the beginning of the year. And now every month that passes by, go back to that profit and loss, check that budget and see where you deviated from the plan. What does it mean to deviate from the plan? So let's say that you said, oh, I, I only wanted to spend a thousand in, um, in electricity then why are you spending more than a thousand? So you try to figure that out. You might have to try to find a different contract with a different light company. That's just an example. So first things first, and I wanna make sure everyone has that clear, have a budget and that should be done at the beginning of the year. January 1st happens, you should have already had it. So you should have actually planned that in the middle of December. So at the beginning of the year, you are following this budget. But of course, you don't always follow it. And that makes sense because you're busy doing other things. And that's why it's important that you check your profit and loss and see how much you deviated from your budget. So profit and loss. Now let's go to that. That's another of my favorite topics. This is a financial report. So if you don't have it, make sure you start having one. And let me explain to you what are the important parts that your profit and loss should have. At the very top, it should have, what are your sources of income? So what products are you selling? What is the service? If it's product-based or service-based, make sure that you outline that. So a lot of people have the tendency of doing this. On the revenue section, they put sales, sales of product. That is super bad. I mean, that's all the accountant really cares when you do your taxes. And that's why everyone just puts sales um, or sales of service, sales of product. No, guys, this is what you have to do. You have to be specific. Sales of what service? If, for example, you're doing business coaching, if you're doing, let's say, real, real estate, if you're doing real estate, what kind of sales are you doing? Are you doing commercial buildings? Are you doing homes, three flat, two flat? Make sure you outline that and just don't outline one, outline every home you're selling and the specific sales that were generated on that specific revenue income source. Why is that important? I will answer that shortly, but once again, sales revenue should be very specific. So why? Well, when you are trying to answer questions like, hey, so what is my best selling home? You're not going to know that if your category says product of uh, sales of service, what service? So if you're trying to answer questions, so what is the least uh, home or, or property that I'm selling? And you don't want to waste your time there. So you want to make sure you know which one you're selling the least so you can Spend your time in your resources, your marketing on the right category. So if it's your three flat, focus your resources on that. Stop, stop with the two flat if it's not working, okay? This is just an example. Okay, so that's the first part of your profit and loss, the sales. And make sure you're very precise and detailed on where you're getting those income sources. The next one that you have is your cost of goods sold. 
So what is cost of goods sold? So usually this is related to product based. So when it's product based, this refers to what are the costs incurred to make a product, to produce a product. So that's your cost of goods sold. So for example, if you're building, let's say wood pellets, because I do wood pellets, the individual wood pieces, the lumber pieces, that's my cost of goods sold. If you're in a restaurant, your cups are cost of goods sold. The protein base, the product, the ingredients for those smoothies or that food is your cost of goods sold. So this is usually for product base. But the next element, very important in every business type, service and product has this, are expenses. And this is so important, guys, because I don't know if you realize that on our expenses, we have the tendency of putting electricity, um, of putting, what's the other one that I see a lot? Administrative cost. Um, What's the other one? Marketing, just marketing. That's all you put, marketing. That is bad. You want to be specific. What kind of marketing? This is how much I spend on Facebook ads. This is how much I spend on Google ads. This is how much I spend on web development. This is how much I spend on the marketing company that's doing the marketing for us. This is how much I spend on my marketing team. When you're looking at your electricity and all those other bills, don't just put the phone bill, put the internet bill. If it's other services that you're paying for, be specific on the services. Why, Martha, that is so much work. It's so much work, but let me tell you the value you get out of it. If you know that you're spending X dollars on marketing, why would you be spending it on Facebook when Google ads is generating you more leads, more sales. Then put some of that Facebook money on Google ads instead of Facebook. These are the kind of strategic moves you can make as a business owner. Yes, these are the moves that break it or make you as a business owner. And that is what our company has gone from 5 million to 10.1 million. It's just strategic moves. It's like a playing chess. You have to know what players you have and how these players have affect, in other words, how your variables, your expenses and your sources of income play with each other so you can make the right strategy for your business to be successful. Um, so that is the, that's the profit and loss. But then at the very end, it's called profit and loss because it shows your profit. And as business owners, sometimes we don't think about our profit. So at the beginning of the year, when you made that budget, so actually by December 15 of the previous year, you have to ask yourself, how much profit margin do I want to make? What is the profit margin that makes me worth, worth it for me to work so hard? As we said, in my pallet company, we were making 5%. That was not worth it. But of course, this is our family business and we're not going to quit. But really, those are profit margins. If you're generating $5 million, even less than that, it's not worth it. So you have to ask yourself at the beginning of the year, what profit margins do I need? Okay, so you've identified your profit margins. And look how beautiful this works together. Don't worry, I'm not going to go more in depth. But I just want to make sure that you guys have a budget and a profit and loss. But I want to connect this because I want you to see how I think and how I work. So you have a goal in mind, a profit, right? So if you want to achieve a profit, you have to think about your sources of income and your expenses to be able to achieve that profit. Business owners, it's either because they don't have time or they're very busy attending their daily on daily tasks. Or to be honest, guys, numbers are no fun for people, except for <laughs> people who love it like me. And that's why I started so like, I love numbers. I want to help business owners grow. And this is what you can do. And you should do it on a monthly basis. Think about your sources of income. Think about your expenses and how you're going to achieve the profit margins that make it worth for you to hustle and work so hard. So just to summarize this, make sure you have your budget, your profit and loss. And there is more depth that I can dig into the profit and loss. And I will talk about that in the next segment because there's so much more information and data that as business owners, we can collect to make a strategic business decision that's gonna make our business 
either double our sales or go out of business. Because again, I am talking to those business owners who've been in business before five, within five years, because you are expected to fail <laughs> on the sixth year, because only 48% of the businesses will go on to the sixth year and actually make it to the 10 year mark, you're at 33%. All righty, so I know I give you a lot of information. I, right now, I just want to give you my number. So in case, for some reason, you have to escape this radio, <laughs> make sure you get my number. My name is Marta Razo. My number is 312-523-5561. Once again, it's 312-523-5561. Do not leave because in the next segment, I want to talk to mid-sized business owners. That's if you've been in business five years after and you have over 100 employees and over 10 million in sales. And please, if you have any questions, if you want to comment on anything I'm saying, if you want to have my opinion on your business and how you can use data to grow your business, you can call us right now and I can answer your question live. So that number is 909-792-5222. I'll repeat that one more time. 909-792-5222. Two, two. All righty, guys. This is your host, Martha, with Fire Up Connect Radio Show. We will be back soon. So please stay tuned for more valuable information for mid-size and small business owners. Mm -hmm.